welcome to the Temporary Podcast, episode 20, recorded live on May 10th, 2014. That's really good. Hi guys, welcome to the podcast. It's time once again for the podcast. You may see a new face here, and we'll get to her very shortly. But for now, we need to see who else is here. Carolyn? No! Is here. I'm in a fight! Well, you're going to die. (laughs) This is podcast time. What have you been doing this week? I've been working and... Play Mother 3. He's gonna screw up my game! Well, you only have 8 life left. Health left. You're gonna die. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> so, what have you been up to this week? Well, I started work Wednesday. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Uh, it's <clears throat> hard and confusing, but I'm getting there. I'm working and getting there and getting paid. That, that's all that matters. It's starting to work. And I've been playing Mother 3. Well, yeah, so Mother 3's been going good? Yes. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited. Why, why have you been playing Mother 3? Because you forced it upon me. Well, explain why I forced it upon you. Because I was bored. Correct. And I think that's a good enough reason. <laughs> good. And now I'm never bored. Yep. Anyways, Jim is here. Hi. What have you been up to this week? I've been working two jobs. I do okay. tree work on top na- on, now on top of my... Normal job of tech support. So you've been cutting down trees? Yes, cutting down trees. So are you a lumberjack now? No beard, yes. though. If you're a lumberjack, where's your beard? It gets in the way. <laughs> are you it's too big like this. There's a giant tree in here. Your beard yes, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Doing <laughs> flap tracks. Any exciting gaming this week? Um, I hit level 90 on WoW this week. Hey. Yay. Hey. Yay. Hey. <laughs> it only took me, like, forever because I barely play the game. Mm-hmm. A um, little bit of Skyrim, some more Smash, uh, <coughs> and games, and iOS games. Yay. <laughs> Excellent. And that's about it. We have Ashley here, who goes by the Twitter name, Sean... Chandel. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, can I call you Ashley? Sure. Okay. Well, what have you been up to this week? I'm uh, looking for a job. And I cheated my way to a level 90 on WoW. Oh, you used the, the paid character boost thingy? Yeah, well, yeah, I pre-ordered the next game so I could get a free mount. Uh, all that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> any other gaming this week? Anything exciting? Uh, Just WoW? Knack. Knack? Oh, yeah. Brooke was telling me about that game. What, what type of game is it? I don't remember. Uh, it's kind of like Crash Bandicoot in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you play as this little guy and he collects things and gets bigger and you just fight your way through the game so it's like crash bandicoot meets katamari D- adamacy yeah okay That's super fun. fun excellent brooke is here hi what have hi, you been brooke. up uh, i have been working what have you been here uh, working i work selling clothes That's fun what happened to the babies I don't like the babies. <laughs> <laughs> no more babies. So, wait, did you quit that job and now you got a new job? Mm-hmm. Excellent. So now you sell clothes. Yep. All by myself in the store. It's fun. So, so is that an outfit you designed? or no. This is, uh, <laughs> this is like a podcast and streaming. Oh, careful. <laughs> don't worry. Anyway. Uh, I've been playing some rock band. Mm-hmm. Getting back into that. Uh, Dark Souls 2. World of Badcraft. <laughs> and what else did I play this week? Uh, oh, Metal Gear. Again, some more. Ground Zeroes. Just can't get over that game. And we played Knack together. I've heard it's uh, Ground Zeroes is a very forgettable game that nobody ever really cares about anymore. It's so, like, it's, like, a, it's a play... thir- it's a $30 demo. Yeah. But there's there's so much you can like there's like missions that you can if you collect all the certain things. It's just like a very short mission based game. It's just preluding to what the next game's going to be. Right. I've heard but I heard the story is like very weak that you can just like skip it even. Mhm. So I I don't know like like I, I think it'd be cool to have like a prequel game that you should play before a, a game comes out but yeah like the cinematics kind of explain more than the gameplay like the gameplay is really nothing mm-hmm. but that's all right Liz is here hi what have you been up to this week nothing at all oh okay <laughs> <laughs> Andy is here no. <laughs> I played a little bit of Final Fantasy Theat Rhythm, played a little bit of A Link Between Worlds, but had to turn it off because I couldn't hear it, and since it's my first playthrough, I want to hear that music. Um, but I played Theat Rhythm just by sight, because I didn't, I don't need to hear the music. I know it. 
Why, uh, why, are you, why are you not hearing music? What? Why are you uh, not crappy hearing? headphones plus loud airplane equals oh, okay. dead silence. Um, played, played some Smash. 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 And went to St. Jude. And what happened at St. Jude? Amazing things. Can you detail the amazing things? Uh, we toured the Target house, and we got lots of yummy food, and we toured the hospital, which was incredible, and we learned all about uh, their upcoming play live, uh, which is going to be... I'm out of... Uh, I'm out of adjectives. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> you, you, you need to turn into Jax and it's incredibly privileged and honored to be with you this evening. <laughs> Yes. That's actually exactly what Jackson would say. He is the, he's the, he's the adjective master. <laughs> but yeah, we had, we had a fun time in St. Jude. It, yeah. it was great, and uh, it was it was enlightening. Mm-hmm. We, we, we learned a lot. We, I, there was a lot I didn't know, and I was like, mm-hmm. holy smokes. I mean, Brooke, you have to stop touching that door. Well, oh. Unless you're hitting the subscribe button, which is a thing that everybody should do on occasion. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, we learned a lot. I'm still decompressing information and remembering stuff yeah. that I learned. Because uh, I believe we said it, uh, I, it was a very short trip, so it kind of felt like two big plane trips <coughs> with like a blurry bit in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> which, which, which sucks, because the, the blurry bit is the important bit. Mm-hmm. Like, I can remember everything about that plane trip. I can remember I can remember the Australian guy inside the hometown bar and grill that was inside the airport. I can remember the faces of all the guys who said, uh, I tell you so i was on the plane uh the second plane there okay and it, it was the longest one and i was next to this next to this other guy and he, he was also bigger so I was, uh, my my face at first is like darn it two big guys on these plane seats we're gonna hate each other by the end of this trip i saw but, that but we started talking to each other and uh he was on some sort of trip to like start a church or something but we started talking and he was like asking why i was going to st jude talking about Zolophon, and apparently uh him and his friend actually run a radio marathon that they do every now and again for St. Jude. And then they were they it was I got to talk to him about it was about St. Jude with him and he was like talking all about how he loves the organization too and uh, their their marathons that they do on the radio. So That's awesome. Yeah, did I tell you that? No, you didn't. I know, weird, right? <laughs> Doing <laughs> it the, wrong. The first thing that we did when we got in our awesome hotel room was we looked at the beds and we did a simultaneous belly flop on the beds yes. in memory. <laughs> <laughs> and they were good. Yes. Bed tests. We saw the beds and we thought of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh? Andy. Andy's here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> what have you been up to this week? <laughs> uh, what did I do this week? Nothing. Everything. I played games. <laughs> Can you detail these games I've, I've that you speak of? I've been trying to, to beat Batman Arkham Origins. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty sure I'm very close to the end of that now. Mm-hmm. Like, either on the last fight or very near it. Because mm-hmm. I was playing it before we came here. Um, Skyrim. <laughs> last minute podcast work. <laughs> Continue. Let's see. Skyrim. Uh, I started playing Hearthstone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Trying to figure out why there's a running little stick figure on your space bar. The, the universal jump button. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> it's a gaming laptop. <laughs> that makes sense. Continue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty much. Oh, I I tried to continue playing Spirit Tracks. <laughs> Try to? It didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> Choo choo! Well, what I'm trying to do is, you know, at the top of the, the big tower, trying to find the what the compass of light. Mm-hmm. And I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get through that place. Like the very, the very, very top. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> that's well, that's Andy, Carrie's favorite. You know, inside my honest and truthful opinion, it sounds like you're doing it wrong! I am doing you're it doing wrong! You're doing it wrong! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that that's it. MC, what have you done? I went to St. Jude. No, you didn't. Please see Lizardu's previous welcoming testimonial. And, um, 
I'm trying to think what else I did. It kind of it kind of was a blur after that. I, I was very busy um, <clears throat> making a lot of YouTube videos, playing playing Minecraft, playing uh, playing Smash, playing. I haven't played any Skyward Sword because I had such a huge backlog. I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. I don't know. I've been playing Minecraft and Smash. I had to play something else. What, what else have I been playing, Carrie? What what the heck? Um, Wait, well, I've been playing Minecraft and Smash and working on videos. Yeah. Dear God, I gotta get a life. <laughs> and you, have, you had one? No. <laughs> By life, I mean I'll be playing Mario Sunshine all Monday. I'm excited for that. Oh, um, it's gonna be long. Yes, it's gonna be fun. Um, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good job, and I think that pretty much covers it. <laughs> it's now time for news. Oh, oh Nintendo. Nintendo. Oh. See, it just dropped onto me when we say it. Liz used to say it. Anyways, so how this is, uh, how, how the things have been going with the Nintendo are crazy this week. So they had a briefing. <laughs> they had a briefing of talking about to their investors and things like saying, hey, this is what happened in the past uh, fiscal year. Uh, nothing was too big. Uh, they said, basically, we lost a lot of money, <laughs> and we have some ideas. We're going to do uh, near-field communicators, you know, with the game Skylanders, you know, with the little little toys that, that you can mm -hmm. put, put in the game. They're going to be doing something like that. They're going to be revealing a game at E3 that uses that. Ooh. So imagine, like, Mario Skylanders. <laughs> and that's pretty much... <sighs> Mario yeah. Party with... Oh my god, if it actually included a full-size board, I would die of happiness. <laughs> Nintendo, are you listening? That's what you should use your technology I'm for. I'm thinking, I don't know why this popped in my head, but it's probably going to, if I, if I were to, to I don't want to word this, to put a, like a gaming universe into that kind of thing, I would probably do Pokemon. Yeah, uh, Poke, uh, I gotta sell like what 400 some <laughs> statues. Exactly, there you go. That, that'd be a lot of money. <laughs> Alternatively, imagine how cool it would be if you could play Smash Brothers tra traditionally, Smash. Or, or or if you like brought all your, your, your little guys with you and they saved all your like fight data on nice. them. And so I could just be like, I gotta like, have my, and like still they sell limited editions. Like I had like a little gold Lucas statue and I'd be like, <laughs> it's time to go, you know? <laughs> and it lights up and it's like. That makes sense because, like, the trophy system they used to have. Yeah. Trophies! Yeah, where they used to try What to if they looked like little. Tr <laughs> Nintendo. But you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be Mario. And he's gonna do some runs and jumps. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> Say hip, hip, hip three times in a row. Hip, hip, hip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Other than that, they, they, they just talked about how they're gonna be doing more stuff to expand. That what Nintendo does beyond games, and related to that, they spent 150 million dollars last year on some sort of. They acquired a company that apparently is doing some sort of non-gaming technology, <coughs> and I don't know. We don't know what they bought, but all we know is they lost a lot of money last year, and 150 million dollars, which is like a, apparently like a tenth of it, <coughs> was on this new technology. So they must really believe in it. To spend 150 million dollars while they're losing money. E3, man, it's there. I hope that, that'd be fantastic. I know E3 is in only a month. Can you believe that? Like, are, is the hype real? The hype is super real. <laughs> Very good. Yay! Thank oh, you, Jim. Yeah. Thank you, Jim, for the hype. <laughs> Jim shall be dubbed the director of hype. <laughs> podcast. Jim, what do you have to say on the matter? Yay! Fantastic. Moving quite <laughs> along to Liz, what what did you, what, what did you think of that uh that the whole Nintendo 150 million dollar thing? I hope that something comes of it and they didn't just drop a big chunk of change and lose it. Well, like what what could they spend it on that, that would make you happy? Non-gaming tech. What 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 court, sort of like foray do you think Nintendo could get into that would make you happy? Like what what sort of business? Like if Nintendo spent 150 million dollars on fast food, you'd probably be upset, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, what what type of thing would they you be excited for to see them getting into that's not gaming? I can't think of anything. Movies. Movies? Ooh. Would Ooh. you be happy or upset with that? If they were good movies, I'd be happy. <laughs> if they're like the Super Mario Brothers movie, <laughs> I'd be angry. I want to watch that so bad like tonight. Like, the Super Mario Brothers movie? I, I'm so excited about it. Why like, do you want to we, torture yourself? Because I miss Bob Hoskins. We can, we can and, test the, the and, TV. And, yeah, and I, I don't have the VHS. Oh, okay, I don't have the DVD, but uh, and I also miss uh, D D uh, Dennis Hopper, who played Koopa. 
<laughs> I miss him. Uh, <laughs> and, and John Lugazimo is funny too. How do you say his name? <laughs> I don't care. I'm just gonna call him John. <laughs> Luigi. What, what, what would be a bad thing, podcast crew? What would be a bad thing that Nintendo could spend 150 million dollars on, yeah. other than fast food? Because it has to be technology. That much we do know. Hmm. I think they might. Oh, bad. Good and bad, I think, is I think they might put more into like the Wii Fit stuff. Like, That's oh, exactly so. what the the, the the biggest speculation is. I was seeing if somebody would pick up on yeah, that. Yeah, I think they're gonna do like pedometers and stuff like outside of actually being in front, like gear. Game Imagine games, a Wii gym. Apps, things like that. Imagine a, f- a physical Wii gym, like like it'd probably be in big cities, but uh, imagine going in there and like instead of you know exercise equipment, instead There's you just boards. you just have it's just balance board, just just a balance board like <laughs> check- checkers, you know. I want to play chess now using all the <laughs> <boards. laughs> That'd be fun. Jesus. That'd be hard. Except they'd be all be very slippery and you'd just go... <laughs> and then it would be dominoes. <laughs> <laughs> then it'd be Wii Fit dominoes. Combine that with, uh, with like, NFC, and you could be, like, each person has their own little tag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nintendo will not do that. No. <laughs> Instead, they'll probably be giving us more pedometers. They'll probably be giving us... What if this is the return of... Does anybody remember the Wii Vitality Sensor? No. No, okay. Wait, wasn't that like... Oh, wait, I think... Maybe? Do you remember oh. what it is? <clears throat> wasn't uh, it like... Recall. Just spit it out of your mouth. Just yell and like scream. A, like a heart rate sensor or something like yes. that? Yes. I was going to yeah. say, maybe it's it was a less thing. of a pedometer, more of a uh, it was, oh heart God, rate monitor, that thing. calorie counter. Yeah. That's thing. So <laughs> it started, it was announced to be coming out. You, you plug it into your Wii remote, and you... It's it's basically looks like one of those hospital thingies you clip on your yeah computer. yeah like like when they're trying to like do your, your and, and you're so you're so and it's like you're supposed to be playing games like that like apparently they like like they gave some ideas of like how it should, could be used by like saying oh well you could use it and play Resident Evil and it would <laughs> know when you're getting more scared because your heart rate is increasing. And eventually people realized that at Nintendo that was a horrible idea, so they <laughs> threw it out the window. Because they need the nunchuck in order to play it. Just go back. <laughs> the power Just bring back the power glove. We'll be all fine. No. <laughs> Maybe that's what they invested the money in. Well, we're non- we got to talk non-gaming tech, remember. Hey, Snake. Please silence your phones while we're... <laughs> Do it, Jim. <laughs> He's giving me a look, man. I was like, <laughs> it was like, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so moving on, uh, Carrie has a story for us. <laughs> okay. Pokemon. The Hoenn remake is real, my friends. I am hyped. Even on the stupid announcement today. Can, can you actually give us a, can you actually describe what the no. Hoenn remake is? It's it's yeah. Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And they're remaking it. They the remake. And what is the title of the new game is gonna be called? What is it? Uh uh Ruby um what is it? Alpha o- Omega Ruby um, Alpha, Alpha, Sa- Sa- Alpha, Alpha Alpha Sapphire. Sapphire. And when's it coming out? No- November of this year. Correct. Yes, November Correct. of this year. That stu- but that stupid preview today that, that one guy on YouTube showed was so Stupid. There's a bunch of Japanese people saying things I don't understand. They showed the anime for like 15 minutes and then he had to take it down because he didn't want to get taken. Why are they remaking it? Because, because it's tradition now. They yeah. remade red Ever and blue. Yeah, ever or red and green, yeah. technically. Yeah. Um, then they remade silver, <laughs> silver and gold. gold. And now we're on ruby and sapphire. And then I'm, soon they'll maybe make the next whatever. Pearl. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we'll I stopped Pearl caring Pearl. after. I think I think that's 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 good. And then after. I yeah, like it. It was one of my more favorite. Um, Who was on the cover of Chef Art? Uh, uh, the big whale one. The, the whale thing. No, not that one. No, <laughs> no, nope. no, nope. nope. definitely not. No, nope. no, nope. no. Nope. no. <laughs> Crystal. Crystal's the best. Crystal's one with Crystal's my favorite Pokemon game. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one I think. You can catch with Sweet Q. <laughs> They've had a remake Fire Red and Leaf Green next. <laughs> no. Well, technically, it's been as long as. Um, Ruby and Sapphire have been out just as long as Fire Red and Leaf Green. So, going by that, it would actually make sense for Fire Red and Leaf Green to get a remake. For three. And then have Burning Fire Red 
and spinning leaf green or something. Oh my god. Ouchie leaf green. Worst name ever. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I love Pokemon. I love that they're remaking them. I just would really love some some cool like Wii U 3D remake. Like, let's talk about that fire red leaf green remake. What if they made uh, the yellow version? What if they made electric yellow a Wii U game? Ex- exclusive. Yeah. But yeah, that, that'd be amazing. I know, but I know the, the PL Pope one is it sells on mobile, and that's why the that's yeah. well, Snap Two with the Wii. Oh my God! <laughs> Are we gonna do this again? It needs to happen. <laughs> this comes and up on the know. podcast every month. Make it, it for happen. the 3DS. No. You can have like the cameras. <laughs> but there's no Pokemon in real life. There's only shut up. Stupid, boring things like laptops. And no well, your laptop could have a Pikachu on it. What? Well, you know, I'm, <clears throat> amazing. You just turned into that Google Maps thing. You just remember that oh, Google yeah. Maps Yo, thing? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I like that. It's right. You could go into a cave and discover zoo bats. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> Hoenn's being remade. Good for that. Next, we have a story from Jim. Final Fantasy 3 is coming to the... Pl- uh, to the PlayStation. PlayStation? Yes. <laughs> to the PlayStation. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yes. To the... To PC. Um, I saw on code, I think it was like May. No, there was no release date yet. Um, basically, on the Steam store, there is now a entry for Final Fantasy three. So at some time in the future, soon. <laughs> soon trademark. When was Final Fa- uh, Has Final Fantasy three already received a remake? Um, it's received like DS? what a couple of uh, remakes yeah, now it's on Vita and PlayStation. Hang on, I is think it on the DS. There's th- also th- a really good remake on the I think on the Android market. Three. Oh. Yeah, they they did it on the Android too. Wow, um, open like so many remakes. Opening. Final Fantasy. Square Enix is like the Square yeah, Enix are yeah. talking to Nintendo about their remakes. They should be like, yo, Basically, let's do seven finally. This is a port <laughs> of a port of a remake of an NES game. Yeah, according to the first one, yeah. A port report of remake. Because three is one. <laughs> yeah, That's so. a long list of nonsense. So, in other words, it's should I buy it? Does it do hold like true the, after all that time? It's Probably the still game, the same game. <laughs> I think they might change because like, dro- on the third one, like looks like they updated the, the graphics. They dropped. Yeah. They, they changed draw. Uh, <laughs> they updated uh, the graphics. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, they let me, let me take a gander. It's more like tactics. That's graphics. not NES. Yeah. I can tell you that much. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know which one three was. Which three was the first one, and then that was. Um, oh, why do you have to do this to my brain? Final Fantasy three was the first one. Pretty much, and then after that, it just messes up. Everywhere, and then you get seven, and then it kind of just goes straight line. After that, all the ones before that. Until you start involving ten too, you know how much that confused me for like years until I had a Final it's Fantasy friend that could explain things to me. It's like because <laughs> it was like Final Fantasy X two, and I'm like, that'd be twelve. Well, what does that mean? Still six, wasn't it? Six was still six, yeah. Yeah. All the other ones were no like X two, not not X I I. I know. <laughs> like the Roman numerals mixed with the real numbers, my brain was all sorts of confused. They should have never, ever, ever made direct sequels to yeah. any Final Fantasy game ever. Well, what's the point of a? I mean, I guess that they're trying to all make them individual stories, but they sometimes want to expand. But is is, is Final Fantasy connected? Like that's the big thing I want to get in a series of games for is seeing connections. Well, there's there's similar elements to most of them. They involve the crystal or crystals. Most of them, not all of them. Uh, that's mainly the only thing that really links them is the crystal. Like. When I play Zelda, you see you see familiar characters. You well, see obviously we know Zelda yeah. is yeah. all linked together. Yeah, yeah, yeah but what, what, what I want to play like it's like Final Fantasy One, and then there's Final Fantasy Fifteen coming out already. Right? They're right? similar. Like, like they Final Fantasy Fifteen is, isn't that the one that's been announced for I coming out? Fourteen. 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 Okay, well, whatever. So <laughs> it's like it's like what I want. I want to play through a series of games. Like I want to see like is that a, is because the, the, they're called is there a timeline for Final Fantasy or are they just. No. Each one no. is its own different game. Worlds. They're all different worlds. They don't even not. They haven't said they're in the same universe at all. Some so, games so do take what? place in the same world. Like the Tactics Advance series takes oh, those, place yeah, in the same world all. that Final Fantasy XII took place in. The judges and everything. Yeah. yeah. Why can't everything just be Zelda? What's it called? Shoot, I'm because everything lane. can't be Zelda. Uh, but Zelda. But, but Zelda breaks timelines no. too. Yeah. The yeah, but it's good. Called. It's a good timeline. We have a. Th- we have a. Th- I have a th- a theory show all about it. <laughs> every Friday <laughs> at 10 p.m. U.S. Eastern time on RadioHyrule.com. Oh all right. 
Right. Plug story. yourself, why don't you? It's my channel. I can do what I want. <laughs> okay, Andy has a story from us because we're talking about Final Fantasy for way too long. I do. Uh, the Oculus Rift people want to make an MMO that will have over 1 billion users. That's a big goal. That's a lot of people. What is, the, what is their plan to do so? Um, Indeed. There's not much details about what this MMO is going to be or how they're going to draw in players. But they just announced that they're going to make. They want to make an MMO that's going to have over a billion players. I think Oculus should focus on their hardware, hardware first. <laughs> and not be trying to say like, we want games. Like how many, how many users does how many users does World of Warcraft have? A lot. Millions. A lot. But not a billion. No, not even close. They haven't had a billion. Like ever. what makes Oculus so confident inside their power as like these hardware developers that they're going to be able to. Do a game that that beats out World of Warcraft. So many people try to do World War, beat out World of Warcraft, Rift, uh, and all Star these Wars do these all these new games, and none of them have done it. You know. True. Uh, I don't know. I think the Oculus Rift. I mean, is what is it still in alpha or beta? It's in. It's been in beta. It's gonna be called Facebook the MMO. <laughs> Find all your friends inside a digital world and punch them in the face. <laughs> ba bam! Dislike. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is how we will finally get that dislike button. Oh my god. Your bar will be just like like and dislike. <laughs> but I don't know. Considering how poke <laughs> <laughs> one damage. Considering how expensive <laughs> the Oculus Rift poke. is, it's super effective. I don't think. <laughs> People, I don't think they could be able to sell it because it's so expensive. And even if it's out of beta, it's still going to be like in the hundreds. So. Oh, it's three hundred. It's a three hundred dollar. Yeah, it, it's like system. buying a console. So. Well, whatever. Oculus can do what they want. Yeah. In my opinion, yeah. like if, if they want to make an MMO, good luck to them. Just please just work on your freaking head head thing first, because that's what everybody wants. Morpheus. Yeah. That's all I want. No. <laughs> we have a story from Carolyn. Yes. This is, this is an interesting story. Can you, can you tell us this? Like, can you like g g give us read it to us like a bedtime story? Okay. I okay. So MC's going to bedtime and he needs a good bedtime story. So <laughs> go. Tell me a story about Bill Gates. Okay. Because so. that's what I was listening to when I was a baby. I would have wondered how I ended up like this. I gotta find a decent spot to get in. Mom's this is a terrible story. Um. So, Bill Gates spoke with Fox Business anchor Liz Clammon. Um, oh, Liz Clammon. Liz Clammon. Um, and Gates said that he would definitely support spinning Xbox or Microsoft Xbox business into a separate company in the event that the new CEO, Satya Nadelia, I'm guessing, made the decision to do so. Absolutely, he said, um, when asked if he would support Nadelia such, if such a decision were made. Gates did not address whether or not he personally feels Xbox should be broken off into a new company. While in the living room, it seems as one of the several areas in Microsoft will have to be too complete in order to thrive in the future. Xbox has not historically been a big money maker, of course, for the company. Spinning the, the division into a new company would allow Microsoft to increase its focus on areas that have been thriving, such as Office and Cloud Solutions. Okay. So while that was a great bedtime story, <laughs> I wonder if everybody's going to live happily ever after. No. The big, uh, can, can anybody point out what the big thing that you took away from the Bill Gates statements were? Xbox isn't making money. We want to drop it. No, that is not what you <laughs> picked up. What, what is Bill Gates supporting inside his statement? His new CEO. Exactly. He's not supporting any decisions. He's not supporting... Dropping Xbox, he's supporting the new CEO, which is just his way of saying, yes, I think Microsoft is in great hands, which looks good for publicity. Yes. So that's all he was saying. He doesn't uh, He doesn't care one way or another. That's a very sensationalist title. Pretty much. Uh, but, I mean... Well, this has been talked about, like... Yeah, this has been talked about on the podcast, even, Yeah, as well. like, we talked about, like, uh, the shareholders wanting to drop Xbox and Bing. So, so they basically just want to put Xbox into its own... Pretty company, much. give it its, its own, own CEO, money. its own money. Like, get 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 it away from the Microsoft money. Mm -hmm. it, it will still help you out by setting up this business, but just having Microsoft Studios and things like that, but completely its own entity. Right. So I mean, yeah, I mean, it's very interesting. It's very interesting in my opinion. It's it's not really a 
statement. Like, Bill, Bill Gates didn't really give us much to work on off of. He just kind of was like, he doesn't care. I care about the gaming world too much. He has much bigger fish He's to He's like, fly. I got all this money. He's like, office. Have fun. Office. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. eight. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I, you know, I think it's really weird that Office is one of the biggest, like. Oh, it's the number, their yeah. number one selling. Well, because it, it's because of, it's of the companies. It's all the companies. I've never bought Office. Do you know why I don't buy Office? Google Doc. Google freaking Doc. It's free. It's right Google here. Doc. My notepad here. Let's see if I can Your show. IRL Google Doc. That, that, that is correct. The, the <laughs> statement says here, you probably can't read it, but it says, MC's Google Docs, IRL edition. Editing unavailable. Because <laughs> I don't use pencils, because I don't make mistakes. Oh. Whatever. I know, that's just... I, people Old always like, be like, why don't you use pencils? I hate pencils. <laughs> a smudge. By the way, I, I, I kind of think that Xbox should branch off and put their own thing and see how they do swimming in their own waters instead of Microsoft as a whole. Because maybe Microsoft's having a negative decision. Maybe maybe it's not Xbox specifically that's behind all these decisions that people have been angry about. Maybe it's maybe it's our friends from Xbox. Xbox. Who likes Xbox? Or, or our friends from Microsoft. Maybe maybe Microsoft is causing the Xbox turmoil. Who knows? What Xbox. We'll Anyways, a story from Andy. Yes. Another Realm Studios has announced that despite the Game Spy shutdown, Mortal Kombat 9 online play will not be interrupted. Hooray! I don't. I personally don't play Mortal Kombat. Uh, well, the later games, anyway. The earlier games, I still play every now and then. But apparently, I didn't even know GameSpy was shutting down. To be quite honest. Yeah, me neither. GameSpy <laughs> shutting down. That's that's the news story we should be no, talking I used, about. I used Game GameSpy quite a bit when I played um, Alien vs Predator online competitively. Mm-hmm. And competitive. I, I did play Smash. I, What's that? Sorry, my no. brain just linked things. <laughs> Before Smash was even a dream. Okay. <laughs> In little Sakurai's head. <laughs> Thank you, Sakurai. Um, I thought GameSpy was was pretty decent as an online thing, but apparently it's gotten crappy. I don't know. I haven't yeah. used it in a long time. So. Well, the last time I used it was. When's when's the last time you heard about a good Mortal Kombat game? The the last the remake they did. Mortal was, Kombat Four was the last good one in my opinion. The remake was pretty good that they've recently done. It was it was all right. It kind of stuck to being better than every other one they did. So, last one was okay, but Mortal Kombat 1, <laughs> that's all that matters. Sorry, I was reading one of Scott's comments. That's terrible. Mr. Scott, <laughs> classic gaming console, it's retro. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see retro. Uh, that's a good no, sk- I, uh, Where's the Jaguar? There. Where's the Jaguar? Where's the Jaguar? Where's the 26? You want to know retro? Has your portable game console ever required four double A batteries? <laughs> Holy God. Oh, God. I believe, didn't the Game Gear take six or yeah. something? Yeah. The yeah. Game Gear was just like... You know how RMF and Nintendo require two more batteries? <laughs> and that's why the Game Gear failed, everybody. Yep. All right. Next, we have another story from Andy. Yes. Yay. The Assassin's Creed 3 lead animator has left to go to Naughty Dog. Yeah. Right. This is good so, news. Well, what does that mean for Assassin's Creed? I'm not... Well, I'll, I'll read you the story. Well, it's a really tiny article. According to a recent profile update on... LinkedIn. LinkedIn, the lead animator of Assassin's Creed 3 has left Ubisoft... To join Naughty Dog, Jonathan Cooper's profile revealed that he was hired shortly before the recent string of big departures that occurred at Naughty Dog. His personal website revealed that he is currently working uh, as an animator for Uncharted 4 as his first project for the studio. Before leaving Ubisoft, Cooper had been working as the animator, animation director for an unannounced game meant for the next-gen um, and current gen systems. Prior to this, prior to his time at Ubisoft, he had worked on several games, including Mass Effect, Mass Effect Two, and Deus Ex: Human Revolution. Hey, you know that game. Yeah. So, <laughs> how was Assassin's Creed 3's animation? Tell it was me. good. It was good. Mm-hmm. The game, the story of the game, I thought was kind of crappy, but the but the look of the game was was good, really good. Mm-hmm. So having him go to Naughty Dog can only be a good thing for us. I think cause, so. Because I have not played Naughty Dog games really. However, did they make The Last of Us? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm a Naughty Dog fan now, <laughs> and I, whatever the next game is, and I've, I've been generally interested in Uncharted, because I, I like action-adventure, Dude, and Uncharted is it Uncharted action-adventure? It's Tomb Raider. 
men style. Well, yeah. I, mean, I, I really like the bit of Tomb Raider I played, too. and it's The little bit of Tomb Raider you played. I, I want to play more Tomb Raider. I, I, you played, what, a half hour? Well, the it? problem was I was on technical issues, and I, I was unhappy with the stream, and when I have stream issues, I'm done. Like, <laughs> I dropped 30 frames, and I'm like, you know, guys, this Don't just isn't working. Don't be salty. I, I pride myself about my salty. Cold. <laughs> I'm not that mean. I just have a story. I do. Yay. Gotham this fall on Fox. <laughs> it looks like an awesome. It's it gonna looks gonna like awesome it's gonna show. be really, really good. Actually, I just really um, hope they don't do the same thing they did with Smallville. Oh, good lord, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, that was a thing. <laughs> but uh, actually, they're hyping it up that it's going to be better. That the, that this first series is going to be better than the, the Dark Knight movies. Uh, I doubt yeah. that. I don't like the Dark Knight, so I'm. I mean, the hyped. trailer looks really good, um, and I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully, after hopefully, if it's successful for its first season, Fox won't drop it. <laughs> Every show. Yeah, then they like. Oh no! It was it wasn't Fox, but. There was like a string of cancellations of like one of the spin offs, like, uh, what was it? Supernatural shows and all that fun stuff. Yeah, Supernatural Spike. Bloodlines got canceled. <laughs> yep. Before it even started. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what was it, like three episodes in? They're like, we don't like this. Goodbye. Yeah, I feel bad for you. Rip. But yeah, so Gotham looks like it's going to be awesome. It centers around... Gotham's going to be awesome. It, it, it centers around Jim Gordon uh, when he was just a detective and up-and-coming and little Bruce Wayne uh, and, of course, younger, um, younger Penguin, yeah. Riddler, Catwoman, and Poison Ivy. Uh, so that's that's going to be fun. Yes. So hopefully it is good. So who here has and watched the... the wasn't there like one that already released? No, yeah. just the, tr the preview trailer. Who saw the preview trailer? Not I. Oh. These okay. two. Well, you've already talked. You guys <laughs> like it. Anyway, uh, I I'm not, I'm, I'm, I probably won't watch it because television and. Eh. I'm, not, I'm not a big superheroes fan because I'm weird, I guess. But you like Link. Uh, yeah, he's not a superhero though. He's just a little boy. <laughs> hey, little boy. Boy from the, boy from the forest <laughs> in Boston. All right, next Boston. we have a story from Jim. Yes, on the topic of new TV shows, Sci-Fi has greenlit the 12-episode summer series The Will Wheaton Project. It's a working title. Um, it's a weekly topical comedy show hosted by actor and champion of geek culture, Will Wheaton. Awesome. The 30-minute show will offer a funny, fast-paced exploration and celebration of science fiction and genre entertainment. The series will premiere on Tuesday, May 27th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Sci-Fi. And will be put up online, hopefully the day after. <laughs> Close. Close. But that'll be up to sci-fi to determine. It's up to the internet to determine. <laughs> Who here knows what we in? Star Trek. <laughs> well, everyone knows them because of Big Bang. Yeah, like, oh, who was that? What was that? Big Bang. <laughs> you know where I know him from? The Guild. Oh. I loved him. Yeah, I loved him on that. It was very good. Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, so it sounds like it'll be yeah. like... The temporary, like what we're kind of doing stuff, because it's he's also going to talk about sci-fi film, television, pop culture, <laughs> video games, he's viral gonna, video, and news. Probably so, have like guests on, yeah, and, and stuff, and just like have a chat with them, have a chat with them, chat, chat, chat. But on sci-fi, like a television, thing. yeah, it's going to be on TV. I don't know how it's going to be for television. I think it'll be a great online thing. Oh yeah. I don't know how to do for television, though. Yeah, like, there were a couple of uh, FAQs that had emerged. Uh, he said the first one that was there is, will this be online? And he says, I don't know, but I hope so. He's pushing everyone who will listen to me to put the episodes online, but ultimately it isn't his decision. Well, that's silly. It's the networks. They pay for it. <laughs> Network help. So we have a story next from... Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. So Sony made a cassette tape. That's oh, good for them. Is it I got got you know a couple songs on it. One hundred eighty five terabytes. <laughs> oh, good. Play. So what? yeah. <laughs> so the last person that held the record was um, Fuji. It was thirty five terabytes in two thousand ten. So they were like, "Yo, let's break this record." Uh, so they did. <laughs> By a lot. And it's, on, it's, it's on a cassette tape? Yeah, so a cassette tape. So it uses the, yeah, all that. And it can hold about 
3,700 Blu-rays on it. Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, that's a thing. But it doesn't have a USB. It's a cassette tape. <laughs> it's a cassette. <laughs> what am I going to do? It's like, look, I have 185 terabyte cassette tape. How do I put anything on it? <laughs> First off, I mean, it's probably going to be bigger. Um... No, it's 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 show the show the image. That's just a cassette yeah. That's just tape. a cassette tape. It's oh. not gonna be. At, it's probably yeah, it's gonna be. It'll like, be about the size, probably a little bit bigger than the the uh, Game Boy. The SP. Probably about maybe this size. Maybe even a little. They're a little bigger. I've worked with backup yeah. tapes. So yeah. Oh, okay. It's, but like, how do you put things on them? Even there's basically usually they're used for backing up like servers and data centers. So there's the actual ribbon, yeah. yeah. There's actual. Special racks, like special rack mounted devices that get hooked to the so network. So wait a minute, somewhere out there, there might be a a giant cassette tape with my YouTube videos yeah. on them? Yep. Probably. I want to go find my <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much porn I'm going to have to sit. Oh my God. Like, you know, what else are this? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, get out the projector. We're going to have a fun night. I have 185 terabytes worth of video content. <laughs> Who knows what's going to be on there. Grab bag. have the lotion. <laughs> Grab bag. <laughs> I need a towel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Next. <laughs> this topic is over. <laughs> we I thought this topic end. <laughs> we Let's move on to viewer orders. questions. Liz, would you go ahead and read our first question? Yes. Laser Glow asks, what is your favorite TV show? Would you like to start us off, Liz? Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hard well, one. We, we talk about favorite TV shows in general. Has anybody seen the show Monk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, don't go, mm -hmm. go. It was good. Go, go, yes. It was good. Monk was one of my favorite shows. It had one of the best endings to a television show in history, and it made me cry. It is the only television show to ever make me cry. <laughs> wow. I don't know, Doctor Who kind of made me cry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's doing something else over here and not crying. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Hands above the table. <laughs> so, so what are some other favorite shows we have around here? I like my favorite show is The X-Files. I love oh. The X-Files. It's a great show. Ashley, what's your favorite show? It, it always changes. Um, right now, my favorite TV show is Law & Order SVO. <gasps> yes! I've never seen Law & Order. I, and I know that there's different brands of Law & Order. Are they, are they kind of like Final Fantasy? And that they're they actually intertwine with each they other? Do. They, they do intertwine? Yeah. I love Law & Order! That's <laughs> 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 great! You, you'll see one person. We were watching in the beginning. We started watching Law & Order, the regular ones. And you'll see people who are in SVU now. Yeah, so they uh, are Oh, that's the same awesome! Universe. You know, yeah. I, love, I love when shows do that. They can be completely separate. You can watch them completely separate. But you connect them, it's kind of like, whoa! <laughs> you like, see the people in the background and You're stuff. Like, really? Really? Yeah, so we're... Would it, it'd be really cool if there was a T... Like, uh, maybe this has happened. You, you can enlighten <laughs> me on the Law & Order life. But, you know, you can have, uh, like... They're inside like the same location, like have like one group of people like on like, you know, they have their conversation. It's part of one show, and like, you know, the other the, like it's part of this other show, and like they've happened at the same time, the same scene. They might. I don't know. That would be <laughs> awesome, you know. And if you watch both shows, you're like, wait a minute, they were just guys walk by, but I saw that last night on the other lawn. Oh yeah, so we're. Uh, you should do this. We're up to season twelve right now. So Ooh, out how of, many seasons? Are there? Um, I think lot. they just renewed for season eighteen. Mm -hmm. So they just they just renewed it like the other day. What about you, Jim? I like NCIS. Is that, that's is, a good that's, Isn't Miami that another, isn't that a normal different? One. Okay. That's a, it's uh, a similar, it, but it's on a different network? It's military. <laughs> military. It's, it's, it's military. the Navy. Yeah, Naval Crimes. Criminal and yes. Investigative Squad. Oh. Squad. 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 So they're both? Squad. No. Well, they're <laughs> they're kind of military. What kind of law? I want to watch a Navy show. I want to see both. <laughs> it's it's, there's it's boats on like, it. have you ever seen Jag. CSI? No. Oh, okay. Well, I don't. I don't have nothing to see. I, it's the, like the, CSI the for the military. Like, yes, that's yeah. basically what it is. Okay. Uh, they deal primarily with the Navy. Though. Military crimes. Jag, yeah. yeah. Okay. I will show you CSI. Like each each branch of the military actually has its own CSI military type police type thing. Unit, yeah. Oh, somebody in the chat's <laughs> mentioning America's funniest home videos. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good like. That's I love really that's on Netflix. Like sometimes you know you have a bad day. And it's like, you just gotta watch. I, I need to laugh. It's like shot of Friday. <laughs> just, just, just give me, just give me. Uh, what, what's that guy's name? Uh, the host of AFV. Alan, no, that's. I don't know. Google Foo. 
What? Host of AFV. It's not Bob Saget anymore. That oh, it's, it's what's his name he's... who does that new show, the dancing show. Yeah, uh, Tom Bergeron. Yeah. Okay, you've been out Google food by brains. Because <laughs> <laughs> yep. I like dancing with the stars. Now. Uh, I ship everyone. Marilyn Max and. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of one show. Carolyn knows it because she watches it with me now because I force her because I like having a buddy to yell and scream about the show at. Survivor. <laughs> Survivor. <laughs> that show is so stupid. Stupid. It's amazing. It's amazing, but it's so stupid. Like, I don't like this, I don't like, this I don't one like guy. But exactly. You, you, the whole point of the show and how the edit is, you're going to want to dislike characters. You're going to want to like characters. And, you know, they're all just real people, and they go out there for, you know, like like a little bit more than a month, and they go do this thing. But the how the editors work with the footage and make you, like, like characters, dislike characters, be neutral on characters, not know how characters are going to turn out, how everything's going to happen... You know, you get that one character that you're just like, I hate him yeah. forever. <laughs> and he lasts all the way to the end. And, no, and you have that hatred. You want to see him every week. You want to, like, he's going to get floated off this week. Gonna... But no, that, that's what they do. And, and that's why that's why I love it. And it's it's, it's an amazing show. It's, it's, my, it's, it's the best and original reality show out there because it, it, it's like one of the only real reality shows anymore. Not Didn't really Big Brother come out? Don't say it's yeah. not really real. It's real. <laughs> yeah, Big, Big Brother, Brother was before Survivor. Survivor's just Big Brother on an island. Yeah, yeah. Big Brother's a house. Is Big Brother before Survivor? Mm -hmm. Big started, Brother originally started in, in England. England. Well, I'm, I mean, to extent, but I think Survivor did it better. Because <laughs> it's on an island. Island. And people are like, I are starving and wet and cold. Help me. Help. 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 Challenges. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta jump on a pole and stand there for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have a, Andy, what's your favorite TV show? Family Guy. Oh. Brooke, what's your favorite TV <laughs> show? <laughs> <laughs> you, already, you already said yours. You, yeah. You were uh, X Files. X Files. What about you, Carrie? I have too many. Just name one. Pick one. Um, now, go faster. Um, <laughs> <laughs> non anime genre. Go. Non <laughs> anime genre? Oh, well, I guess I could go girly with this one and say Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls! Yay! I've watched that. <laughs> I like the whisper. Because I, I had to watch it after school because right at, or before it was Seventh Heaven. Yes. And my parents watched that too. And I felt awkward. <laughs> and all the theme songs. Seventh Heaven. <laughs> you know. Okay. Shadow has a question for us. Could we have that read for us by the wonderful Carrie? I guess. Transistor is coming out next week. Anyone interested? I don't know what it is. What's Transistor? It's an MMO. Oh, oh. okay. Oh, so... <laughs> Give us the deets. It's a sci-fi themed action RPG. Well, you have a Wikipedia page open. <laughs> it's a sci-fi themed action RPG that if, I thought you were talking about Transistor as yeah, an like, actual thing, a Transistor, like in the intellectual work. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um... Uh, then advice players to wield an extraordinary weapon of unknown origin as they fight through a stunning futuristic city. Ah. It comes out, it's coming out for the PS4 and, and the PC. PC. Ah. And I gotta say, it does not look all that grand. I don't know what the hype is about it, but from looking at their screenshots, it... See, I'm from the creators of Bastion. Oh, wait, but Bastion, you mean? Bastion. 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 I can't ever... Bastion. Shut up. Bastion? Every... Voice has a crowd. Oh, isn't this the one with the um, like the running lady? Now the city's most influential boy, one by one. Vanishing one the creators one by of one. It is Red's turn. Is yeah, this Pokemon. <laughs> no, I, this game looked very interesting, uh, and it's from Bastion's guys. So, I mean, I'm I, I'm interested. I probably won't get it because. No, I have many other games to play, but uh, I'm I'm intrigued by it. Yeah, it looks fun. Uh, I'm intrigued by it. And I hope people have a fun time. I hope to see it get popular. Eh. Popular. It's a beautiful game. I, I do like the fact that PlayStation and PC games port with each other. You can play with each other on mm -hmm. PS4 and oh, PC. Oh, that's, that's a wonderful thing. Yeah, like, do. that's amazing, and that's I'm, I'm glad that they finally made that bridge. Right. Instead of, like, every company is like, no. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm so happy. But that's it looks okay, I guess. We have one last question, and could we have Ashley read it? Could you show her the phone? I got it. She has it. Okay. Yeah. I sent it to her. Austin TP asks, do you think Watch Dogs will live up to the hype? Why don't you answer, because I know you are looking for the Watch Dogs. Yeah, um, I really hope so, because, I mean, I don't know. I hope it, look, so. it looks so fun. Um, it's kind of like, it reminds me of Grand Theft Auto, but 
and I don't know. I think when I think yeah. of it, yeah, like I think like like Tony Hawk and Grand Theft Auto and Tony Hawk. Yeah, I can see how you can mix in Tony Hawk a, a yeah. bit into that as well. And then, and then there's a little bit of Assassin's Creed in there. And yeah, I mean, it looks. Super it cool. looks like they do blend a lot of like really great games yeah. in, into one, mm-hmm. and but they make it their own rather than yeah. just making it look like then a bunch of games poured together. Just go to other people's worlds. And now if I could actually buy the game. <laughs> I think they're doing like they're doing the Grand Theft Auto thing where they're like, oh, like we'll hack you, you, you can be a bad guy and go steal cars and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you can ha- but hacking other people's games instead of like going in Grand Theft Auto just like I'm gonna kill everything. Like here you're like you wanna be secretive. You don't yeah, be secretive. They're, they're trying to make a Grand Theft Auto but with stealth. Mm-hmm. Where in Grand Theft Auto you're just like, <laughs> here I am, suckers. But it's like this one you wanna. You want to try to out, out, out maneuver and, and kind of, and hopefully people catch on to that. And it doesn't. Like, you can play for like they're adding where you can do tablet play. Like you can hack into people's games on tablet, use helicopters, and yeah. chase people. Like I'm excited. I want to get the game, but you know what the problem is? I I don't have a only system I have that's coming out on other than PC because I don't want to play it on PC because I like consoles. Wii is Wii U? Not yet. <laughs> Isn't it coming out for PlayStation Three? No. Yeah. They can't. Is it on three? It's well, on Xbox 360. I don't want to play it on those. I want to play it on the fancy PS4. So you can play with us. I ha- I've, I have it pre-ordered and paid for on the PS4. Yeah, I want, but the, I, congratulations. Just, I don't have a PS4. I don't want to come over to your house every time I want to play Watch Us. I want to be able to stand and play it <laughs> now. I want to play it yesterday. <laughs> I want to play it when you're asleep. I want to play it while you're you eating. Know. I want to be playing it every time. I could stream it and you could watch it. That sounds <laughs> sad! <laughs> <laughs> I just spit on your laptop. I'm so sorry. There we go. Um, yeah, Andy and I will play it when you're just like, ah. No, I mean, I got, I'll I want, play it too. I, gotta, I, I want a PS4 so bad in my life. I'm just, gonna go buy a PS4. I want a PS4. Don't you buy? It. Don't you buy a PS4? I didn't buy one. That's even worse than streaming. Then I'm just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna buy a PS4 and I'm never gonna see it. I'm, I'm, I'm on a PS4. Yeah, you were talking about that. I want a PS4 for absolutely no reason. <laughs> but now I now have a reason. Watch Dogs. It's coming out, and I want to play it on a. Want to play it on a. I want to play it on a console. And I don't want to play it. And I want to play it at the best possible look and feel, and that's on PS4. Yep. And PS3. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> the rage. Getting hacked IRL! <laughs> <laughs> CMC's P.O. Box. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Yes. Suddenly, <laughs> CMC and Yes. <laughs> I, I, I just open up my email, the, the, the little P.O. Box, like this big. It's like, ooh, and then five years <laughs> <laughs> And then Jerry, the postman, comes and sticks his head through. He's like, you got your packages? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm on the ground. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Jim, can you tell me how to su- uh, submit questions? You can submit your questions to temporarypodcast at gmail.com with the subject line, viewer question. And now it's your favorite time of the evening. It's trivia time. I don't know if it's your favorite time of the evening, but it's fun. Yay, trivia time. Go ahead and shout out the answers in chat because we can't see it. So, have fun. All right. Help. No Picarino. Time for your Trivarino. Face turn. Face turn. Face turn. Welcome, everybody, to Trivarino. Welcome. How are your. Families. Our air mothers. Remember, Mother's Day tomorrow. Give her the gift of the podcast <laughs> on DVD coming soon. No, no, no. <laughs> never. Turn the game where everyone loses and the points don't matter. Yes. Hey, <laughs> Actually, the points show. matter a lot because you have to hold them true. Is somebody out there keeping track of these points? We gotta make a Google Doc. Somebody out Google there. Doc. We need a Google Doc. Like I, I want to have like, a giant list lead. of like keeping track of Google podcast Doc. points. All the all the archives are available except for the few episodes that I lost forever. Let's move on to the questions. <laughs> Episode number... (laughs) (laughs) And now, the memory podcast episode question one. In Metal Gear Solid 3, if you make Snake spin, what happens? Make him spin? Yeah, he throws up. (laughs) And and, and, and just just as a non-point, what's that good for? Um, Getting rid of poison. Yeah, Yeah, you can get rid of poison (laughs) and and stuff by being a non-point. No, you said (laughs) non-point. Non-point. Anyway. Okay, so question two. In The Sims 3, e. what expansion allows you to get tattoos? Uh, ambitions. Or? Or uh, Nightlife. Good, you're going to take one point. Yeah. You knew that, too. I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yell and scream at me. I forgot the word. All right, question three. 
What is the first world of the game Sonic the Hedgehog? Hedgehog. Green Zone. Green, Green Hill Zone. Green Hills, yeah. Green Hills. Green Hill Zone 1. <laughs> Green Hill Zone Act 1. Ah, oh, it's <laughs> Act 1. <Yeah. laughs> Very good. Got two points. Yeah! <laughs> Question four. What is the boss of the Woodfall <laughs> Temple in Majora's Mask? Uh, good, good, d- oh, good, creepy good, dancing guy. Good, what the his name? Go, sit, go, <laughs> and start to the G. No. <laughs> Odola? 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 <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Final Fantasy VII question. Prepare your brains. What is Cloud's birthday? Shoot. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. Month he doesn't day? have one. He does. Month Month and day. Day. It's six days after my birthday. Let's see. Who, uh, let's uh, see who loves August. Me. August. August night. Yes. <laughs> Everybody else hates me. I see how it is. Love you, Liz. MC was my birthday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> question six. <laughs> In Super Mario Galaxy. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Uh, you, you read a storybook by Rosalina, mm-hmm. and she tells you the st- story of what character? Mario. Of what character? Like, yeah. <laughs> the Starbits. The, the, what the heck are those little star things called? The Lumas? That is not the character in the story that she tells, but... It's Mario. Oh! I know it, too, and I can't think oh. of it. Luigi? No. Uh. Is it the <laughs> You're all dumb. It's like some kind of deity thing, I think. <laughs> some kind oh, of deity? I, I can't even remember. I've she tells the story of Rosalina. <laughs> she tells her own story. I've never <laughs> played the game, so I don't know. <laughs> Question seven. Uh, in Resident Evil 4, what is on Ada Wong's keychain? Ada Wong? Uh, Ada Wong. <laughs> I, I don't... On her keychain? Yeah. What's on her keychain? Oh, a teddy bear. Teddy bear. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Cause the jet ski teddy bear, yeah. All right. <laughs> I know that. Question eight. In Link's Awakening. Oh. <laughs> what does Madam Meow Meow give Link for walking Bow Wow? A kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question nine. Finish the quote. It takes a strong man to deny what's right in front of him, and the truth is undeniable. You create your own. In, tr- in truth, Walker, um, is... Um, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Can't even read your own handwriting. Worst quote ever. <laughs> In truth, Walker, is that you're here because you wanted to feel like something you're not. A hero. Hey. hey. Yes. And now for. Where's that from? Uh, I that's don't remember. Spec, spec Ops, the line. Okay. Nope. <laughs> and now, guess the game. Guess the game. Diddy Kong! Diddy Kong Country. Racing! Diddy Kong Racing! Rick, Rick, and Rick! <laughs> Rick, Rick! And he, said, and he said the full name of the game first. My apologies. Oh my god! Violently struck <laughs> back and forth! That is a good old We have a tie. We have a tie. Yeah. Between who? Boom, 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 boom. A three way tie? Four way? Yeah. No, I have one point. Wait, okay. Four way, yeah. wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. Frick. All right. You two can't participate because you're on enough points. It's time for the sudden death question that I will now think of off the top of my head. Oh, God. Six. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, that's kind of biased toward Jim, but that's, that's what I got. All right. In the game Super Mario 64, what is the name of the final world where you fight Bowser? Uh, hmm. Bowser's, uh... Bias towards me? Lava. <laughs> you like the song. Bowser's, no. I, I, that doesn't it's mean anything to me. Bowser's... It's not Bowser's Dark World, is it? <laughs> Dark Realm? Dark something? Dark Castle? I'm gonna give it to Andy. It's Bowser in the Dark World. Yes! Damn it! Actually, win. <laughs> wait, no, it's Bowser in the Sky, actually. You're You're wrong. Bowser, I win. Slowpoke wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slowpoke wins. Good job, Slowpoke. Nice yeah. job. Zelda. My nostalgia. Zelda. Zelda, Zelda, is, no. Zelda is not the answer. Ganon from Wind Waker. <laughs> yes. It's a jackal. So jackal? we're all still tied then. Yeah, we're all still tied. That's okay. Yeah. Nobody wins. 
Good, good work. Oh, see? <laughs> <laughs> What's the only Sky Scroller Zelda game? Go. Hi! Ho! Oh, if you have a tri- trivia question for next episode, email it to temporarypodcasts at gmail.com with subject line trivia. Trivia! Transition! <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's not a thing. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. You can follow us all on Twitter. We are King Bacon, Lizardu, Campy DK, Shandell013, Shoop631, Prepeat2010. And I'm Super MC Gamer. Thanks for watching this week. Our song of the week is Welcome to My Castle. It's spelled with a K if you want to look it up. And that's by DDR Kirby. ISQ from OC Luna. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, guys.